Uh, secondly, uh, we ask that everyone remain muted throughout the program. Um, you can, of course, blow up the chat with any congratulations for the award winners we'll be announcing today. And uh, But we do ask that you do remain on mute throughout the program. Uh, for those people that are announced as winners, feel free to turn on your camera and wave so that everybody can see you. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to our Vice Provost and Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Ambika Matur. Thank you, John. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. It's great to see so many faces and smiley faces, especially. And um, I see from the chat that we have parents and family members. So thank you all for attending this joyous event on a beautiful day. So welcome to the Graduate Student Appreciation Week Award Ceremony. We've had a wonderful week filled with a variety of special sessions and events to show gratitude to our Graduate Roadrunner com community. Uh, I'd like to personally take this opportunity to thank our colleges and all our campus partners. In particular, I want to recognize the brilliant work of John Schaefer. So if anybody wants to put in some applause in there, we much appreciated for him for sure. <clears throat> as well as the really remarkable work of our entire graduate school uh, team, uh, Tracy Bass, uh, Rebecca Weston, Emily Lerma, Lindsay O'Day, just to point out a few, and of course, everybody else who worked behind the scenes who were not as visible. So um, thank you for making this a huge success to all the students, staff, faculty, and uh, family members who supported our students. So it's wonderful to see you all here. I know I'm standing between you and the awards, so I'm gonna turn it over now to John uh, to start with the awards. So we'll start with the announcement of our excellent 3MT competition winners, which by the way, if you didn't attend, you missed a fabulous two hours of absolutely wonderful presentations by our students. So with that, John, over to you. Thank you. It was a wonderful competition yesterday. We had 24 students from a variety of disciplines across campus participate. Everyone did such a fantastic job. It was the first time we had done the 3MT uh, live virtually. So um, with that, it was just, it, it, everything ran very smoothly. It was, it was wonderful to watch every, all the students do such a good job. And I am pleased to announce the winners of the 3MT. So we will start with the third place winner which is Vanessa Serta from Neurobiology. So congratulations, <clears throat> Vanessa. Second place, we have Daniel Portillo from Mechanical Engineering. Congratulations, Daniel. For our People's Choice winner, we have Pratik Gopalakrishna from Electrical and Computer Engineering. Congratulations, Pratik, Pratik who by and large got the most votes for People's Choice. And now I am very pleased to announce our first place winner, also from neurobiology, which is Karina Meyer Acosta. So congratulations to all the winners and of course to all the students that did such a fantastic job. And now I will turn it back over to Dr. Matur. So actually I was just gonna ask real quick if everybody else can turn off the cameras and just the winners, please turn on your cameras. So we can see your faces, recognize you, and give you the opportunity to wave and acknowledge your achievements. So are all of you on this call, Vanessa, Daniel, and Karina, and Patik, of course. Okay, if not, um, I will move the program along. So when I first came to UTSA a couple of years ago, I was surprised to learn that we did not officially recognize the excellence of our students and especially of our faculty and staff who support the wonderful work that our students do. You know, all the behind the scenes work that goes on that supports our students and uh, drives us to our quest for R1 and making sure that we stay on track for research and teaching. So this year we instituted a series of awards to do exactly that, to recognize the excellence of our staff and faculty and students. So it's with great pleasure that today we will recognize just a small subset of the outstanding individuals from each of our colleges with awards for graduate school excellence, which the graduate school is so happy to be awarding today. So I'm gonna turn this over now to Rebecca Weston, our Associate Dean in the graduate school who did 
an enormous amount of work to get all the nominations together uh, to announce the Graduate School Excellence Awards. Dr. Weston. Thank you, Dr. Mercer. I did not do nearly as much work as all the people who are winning the awards that we're talking about today. So I, I was just so impressed with the nomination packages. There's been a lot of work done on this campus for a long time, and I'm, I'm happy that we get to recognize it today. So we will go by college. And as your college comes up, if you are a winner in that college, definitely turn your camera on so we can start the waving early. You don't have to wait for your name to be called for your cameras to come on. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the College of Education and Human Development. So for our outstanding dissertation in this college, we have Dr. Nancy Castillon in counseling. Yay, there she is. For our outstanding graduate mentors, we have Dr. Mark Giles in educational leadership and policy studies, Dr. Claudia Garcia Lewis in educational leadership and policy studies. They, they took a lot of the categories from here on out. And for our, the outstanding GAR at the master's level, we have Dr. Vanji Aguilera. So I see all of our winners are here. And I see our, there goes our chat. So fantastic work to all of y'all. Thank you so much. So our next college is the College of Sciences. And I believe Dr. Jose Ribo Lopez, the Associate Dean in Science is going to be announcing these award winners. So I'll hand it over to him for, for this slide. Yes, hello everybody and congratulations to all the winners in all categories and the different colleges. I'm very proud of all the UCSA community. In the College of Sciences, the awardees are as follows. For outstanding PhD dissertation, Dr. C. Vance Thompson from Chemistry. Congratulations. For outstanding uh, master thesis, Rebecca Nunu uh, from the Department of Geology. Again, congratulations. For outstanding graduate advisor of records at the master's level, Dr. Jennifer Smith in environmental science. And for outstanding program coordinators, Sandra Bigler from environmental science and ecology and uh, Susan Allen uh, from computer sciences. Again, congratulations to all of you. Very good work. Thanks to everyone. Okay, so we'll, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the College of Architecture, Construction and Planning. And in this college, we have for the outstanding non-thesis or capstone project, David Robinson Jr. from Urban and Regional Planning. Very nice. The outstanding graduate mentor is Dr. Vincent Canizzato in architecture. There he is. Outstanding GAR at the master's level is Dr. John Alexander in architecture. Hello. And outstanding program coordinator is Diane May, also in architecture. Diane Wood May, I see, I got your name wrong here, sorry. <laughs> so excellent work in the College of Architecture, Construction and Planning. Next is our newest college, thank y'all, the College for Health, Community, and Policy. And our outstanding dissertation in this college goes to Dr. Stephanie Hernandez in Applied Demography. I'm looking, I don't see her. I know she's in North Carolina now. Outstanding thesis goes to Corby Sidebottom in Health and Kinesiology. Outstanding graduate teaching assistant is Colton Daniels in soci sociology. There he is. Our two outstanding graduate mentors are Dr. Mike Bauman from psychology. Oh, nice with the balloons. And Dr. Janelle Sparks in applied demography. Outstanding GAR at the master's level is Dr. Derek Plantegna and that's in social work. And outstanding GAR at the doctoral level is Dr. Corey Sparks in applied demography. <laughs> and our outstanding program coordinator, and I'm so happy to see this because I'm in psychology and I was the GAR that Janice helped forever, is Janice Marshall in psychology. Yes, double Sparks. <laughs> 
I had to time the emails so that they got them at the same time. <laughs> all right, fantastic work to all of y'all. So next we have the College of Engineering and the outstanding dissertation in College of Engineering goes to Dr. Ricardo Ramirez. I think he's here, I'm not sure if he's here. Outstanding thesis is Dr. or sorry, Diana Goch Melendez, I'm getting ahead of her education, in mechanical engineering. Outstanding non-thesis or capstone project goes to Patrick Science in electrical and computer engineering. There he is. Oh, and I see Diana. Outstanding graduate teaching assistant is Tapsia Nayak in electrical and computer engineering. Hello. Oh, I like the background there too. Outstanding graduate mentor is Dr. CJ Chen in electrical and computer engineering. And the outstanding GAR at the doctoral level is Dr. Wei Ming Lin in electrical and computer engineering. Outstanding program coordinator, also in electrical and computer engineering, is Can Nguyen. There she is. All right, so fantastic job to all of y'all. And, and I see electrical and computer engineering is especially busy. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so our next college is the Carlos Alvarez College of Business. The outstanding dissertation in this college goes to Dr. Mosen Jozani in information systems and cybersecurity. Our outstanding non-thesis or capstone project, there she is, is Risa Wijaya in management science and statistics. Good job. Outstanding graduate teaching assistants are Kinu Panda in applied statistics. Hello. And Samantha Galvan in marketing. I see them both there. Outstanding graduate mentors in the Alvarez College of Business are Dr. Ki Yi in management science and statistics and Dr. Raymond Chu in information systems and cybersecurity. Good job to both of y'all. Outstanding GAR at the master's level for two programs is Dr. Dan David. There he is. For master's of science in business and the MBA programs. Outstanding GAR at the doctoral level is Dr. Ram Tripathi in applied statistics. Hopefully he's here. And our outstanding program coordinators in the Alvarez College of Business are Karen Kiley in the Office of Graduate Studies and Research, and we talk to you all the time, and Lisa Ho in the Intelligence Community Center for Academic Excellence. And there's Lisa, hello. So fantastic work to all of y'all. Okay, and our final college, is the College of Liberal and Fine Arts. The outstanding dissertation in this college goes to Dr. Lori Barkwell Love in anthropology. Yes, I see some very excited celebrations there. The outstanding thesis goes to Ananda Tomas in political science. Nice work. And I know you've got family here too celebrating with you. The outstanding non-thesis or capstone project goes to Sergeant Joseph Samuel in music. Very good. And also in music, the outstanding graduate teaching assistant is Emily Myers. The outstanding graduate mentors are Dr. Kat Brown in anthropology, there she is, and Dr. Nazgul Bagiri in political science and geography. I see she's made it too, yay. Outstanding GAR at the master's level is Dr. Jamie McDonald in communication. Very nice. Outstanding GAR at the doctoral level is Dr. Jamin Havox in anthropology, who is in the rainforest, it looks like. Outstanding program coordinators are Mary Tudor in the Dean's Office. So Mary and Tara Thompson in history previously, but now in academic advising. And I know history misses you terribly. So very good work to everyone in the College of Liberal and Fine Arts.
Okay, we do have one more set of awards to give out, and these are for Program Excellence Awards. So these awards are just a little bit different there to the entire program. And we've got, well, I'll go over the categories when we get to the slide. So I know that the folks involved have been notified that they're about to be put on the spot. But for the three awards that we gave out at the program level, the first one is the Innovation in Doctoral or Terminal Degree Program Admissions. So just a little bit of background, one of the things that we're really trying to do is try different approaches in terms of program admissions. So we set out a call for nominations for programs that are approaching this a little bit differently than maybe they have in the past. So we are very pleased to announce that the winner in this category at the doctoral or terminal degree level is the Master of Fine Arts MFA program in Studio Art. And I see Libby Rowe, the GAR for that program is here. And Greg Elliott, I'm not sure if you're here also, he's the chair of that department. Fantastic job. So very good work on that. We also had an honorable mention in this category and that goes to the PhD in cultural literature and, sorry, cultural language and literacy. I knew I was gonna mess up one of them. The GAR for that program is Dr. Jorge Solis. Hopefully he's here. And the chair for that program is Dr. Patricia Sainz, Sanchez. So the, the reviewers were very impressed with this program as well. So honorable mention. So fantastic work there. And we, we hope that you are the trendsetters for the rest of the institution. At the master's level, the Innovation and Master's Degree Program Admissions Award goes to the master's program in school psychology. The GAR for that program, I see her there, is Dr. Felicia Castro Villarreal. And the chair for that program is Dr. Sharon Nichols. So excellent work. And, and I know you've had your hands full working on another proposal too. <laughs> The honorable mention here goes to Dan David for his work on the MS in business. And there's Dan again, very nice job. So the final category that we have here is for outstanding growth in a master's program. And this was a, a category that no one could be nominated for. We just simply looked at the data, our favorite thing to do. And we found that the greatest percentage increase in growth in a master's program was for the Master of Arts program in global affairs. And the chair of that program, John Taylor, made sure to give the credit for that growth to, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, Andrea Aleman and Dr. Matthias Hofferberth. Hopefully they're both here, yes. So excellent work there in terms of growing those programs or growing that specific program. So congratulations to all of our award winners. And I see the chat off to the side has been very, very busy. So hopefully everyone got a chance to see their, their shout out. But thank you all for all of the work that you've done in the last year. And we really look forward to continuing these and doing it all again next year with even more awardees. So thank you all. I'll turn it back to John now. Well, thank you all for attending. Um, this was very exciting to see all the winners. And um, Graduate Student Appreciation Week has been a total su success. I'm getting feedback from our campus partners that they've had a lot of student engagement. Um, all of our events had had very, uh, very good student engagement and faculty engagement and staff engagement. So I appreciate uh, everybody's work on this week. It's not quite over yet. We still have one more event this afternoon, our last event, which is a very unique trivia game where we look at Game of Thrones in comparison to leadership. So that will be a trivia game this afternoon. Um, uh, that will be done by our assistant dean, the graduate school, Tracy Boss. So thank you all for attending and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Thank you everybody and look forward to this event next year again and for all your ex continued excellence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bye everyone.
Well, Dr. Weston, that was great teamwork. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm <laughs> tracking everything in the chat. I want to make sure we don't lose all that. So that was that was <laughs> tremendous attendance too. I'm so pleased. I think we had over the amount that I had seen that registered just about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. So I think additional people registered, but that was, I think we had probably close to 100% attendance. <laughs> so that's was fantastic. That was a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Have a good rest <laughs> of your day. You too. Bye. Bye.